Good morning, everyone. So I'm sitting at a red light right now. I'm going to try to do this pretty fast, but it is 8.45 a.m. on a Monday, and I am on my way back from It's a Grind. I've got my iced tea and my oatmeal chilling in my lap, and yeah, I'm on my way home. Shane is going to meet me there, and then actually Willa starts today, who is my summer intern, I guess you could say. I don't know. She's going to be working with us on some stuff, so um, yeah, let's get going on Monday. Hey, guys. So I'm at Line in Chipotle with... Hello. Shayna and Willa. Everybody say hi to Willa. Hi. I'm trying to think. Should we have you say three fun facts about yourself? Yeah. Oh no, not on the spot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I told her I was going to be pressuring her on camera. Yeah. Sorry, ask me the question. What's your favorite color? Purple. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, history. How tall are you? Five, six. Hey. See? Hey. Oh. So yeah. My husband's whole family is well besides his oldest sister, all of them are like six feet. Really? So they're all like towering yeah, over me. They're the tall girls. Little sister, they're the tall yeah. girls. Exactly. His little sister is like five eleven and she's younger than me and I'm like Abigail's five eleven? Yeah, she's so tall. I mean, I see Abigail fairly regularly. I don't know why I never registered she was 5'11". His oldest sister, her older sister, um, she's like 5'11", too, I think, or something like that. And she has like a size 11 foot. How tall are you? 5'8 and a half. Oh, yeah. You know what I want to know in the comments? I want to know the general size of my audience. So leave down below how tall you are and your shoe size. I am 5'8 and a half, and I have a shoe size. Eight and a half. You so should do like a dumb giveaway. Like if you're the same size as Nikki, we'll give you. A you're right. Everyone's gonna say they're eight and a half. I'm eight oh, and a yeah. half. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know why someone would say that about shoes that don't fit them, but maybe. <laughs> so all right, we're gonna order our food now. Chipotle. And then we're heading to Starbucks for um, Monday's JLT meeting. So I'll see you soon, guys. Because Monica and Shelby was referring to, they were referring to Shayna as being part of my entourage, and now Willa's on my entourage too. They have the cutest entourage. Aren't they the cutest? All right, so we're getting in the car now, heading to Starbucks. Just me and my entourage. Isn't this the cutest? All I said was, I said you guys are the cutest entourage. Oh, and we're like kind of twinsies. You we have like what? the same hair color. You guys stuff? are kind of twinsies. I remember thinking when we were growing up, I was like, oh my gosh, we kind of look like. Yeah, you guys are both kind of like hippie-ish and relaxed and like carefree and breezy. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we'll see you at Starbucks. Oh, I was playing. Too bad. Ever. So we're currently sitting in a lot of traffic. We have literally no idea why because it's 1230 in the afternoon But we got in the car and we're like, oh my I was literally thinking see even with going to Chipotle We're gonna be right on time, but no. we're not we're oh. sitting here. We're not even budging the light is green And we're not even budging Shana's theorizing There might be a car accident or something. Okay. We're finally moving. We've been sitting here for a while So don't think that I'm really dramatic <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no, we know you are dramatic. Maybe there was like a truck in the way or something. Like, oh, it looks like there kind of is like a tow truck that right Does it? It's so weird. That's strange. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, is that what's going on? Looking like it. Everybody's so interested in our traffic situation I know mm -hmm. we I know I understand guys don't get too excited okay <laughs> all right I'm gonna pull you back out if I can. oh wait are we gonna go now I just want to show you oh now we're at a red light okay I'll pull you back out a little bit try to show it okay so we're thinking it was probably this tow truck right here I'm no there's actually like a singing in the shower oh. Sorry, so this is the company theme song. We just told Willa that she's gonna have to memorize every lyric we're gonna test to the song. Okay. We don't even know the lyrics to this part. Yeah. Rich. I know that part. This is the B word. Bad bitch. <laughs> okay, you guys should listen to it. Wait, we'll just keep it through the chorus, why not? Oh my god, it's the weekend. Hands up for the weekend, oh my god, it's the weekend, hands up for the weekend, we can let go, sipping rosé, poolside Mandalay Bay. I'll be there in two weeks, guys. Huh? Yeah, this is, this is our dance. I think yeah, we should lift up to this so bad. That's all I want. Oh my god, leave a comment it's if you weekend. want to see it. Like every day. Alright, 
so I'm currently at S Bucks with, with Shelby. Shelby. Uh huh. Oh yeah, and Monica too. Hi, hi, hi. It's just like last week. I know, it is just like last week. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a hint because I don't think that there's a problem in doing this because not everyone's gonna know. But it's actually funny because next week on JLT is Starbucks week. I don't know if I can't say that. Is that bad? Yeah, yeah, no! no! I think it's fine. So you should go it's over and. Really top secret. They keep it, our JLT themes, right next to um, confidential files that only the president can Oh, read. like, like atom bomb codes? And all the alien. Oh yeah, alien stuff. Yeah, yeah Adam's files. Yeah, the X files. So um, it's very top secret. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're at a Starbucks because you know, why not meet at a Starbucks when you're doing Starbucks? I love Starbucks. Week. I love Starbucks. I actually, I really don't like Starbucks. Yeah, you don't really. Drink I'm not a Starbucks fan. I'm like yeah, the biggest water. I'm probably the biggest Starbucks fan of life. You are, huh? Because you were saying that like you could. You really think you could tell the difference if you were drinking a coffee bean and you were drinking a Starbucks? 100%. Really? We well, that's how I feel about tea. Like, if you yeah. gave me, like, tea from Starbucks versus tea from coffee bean, I 100% would yeah. know oh, this is coffee bean. It just feels like coffee is so much more like it's coffee. Like, how do you know? You it really just, know. It's different. It's like, really it's, better. It's slightly different, but it's still different. Can you guys tell the difference, do you think, between coffee bean and Starbucks if you did a taste test? What about you? I think I'm pretty confident I could tell the difference. Really Maybe we should send in things to Maddie of our own doing it. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Do, it. do you want to? Yeah, she just like was yeah, really excited to do it in general. I told Maddie I was gonna fly to Minnesota to do it. I mean that would be dedication. Whoa. Hashtag JLT yeah. dedication. So yeah, we're just working on that right now and I just wanted to say hi. And that's all guys. So yeah. Look at her. Yeah. Focused in her element. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I said that was the ugliest face I just made. I was like, I mean, I've seen uglier faces, but it's fine. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. I'm so yeah. mean. All right, guys, I'm gonna go now. But she's gonna get more coffee. She's gonna keep making faces, and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I'm editing at the library, and I met a subscriber, Hi. Sierra. Okay, Sierra, so I'm trying to keep my inside voice on, okay. um, but I haven't been very good at it. When she said hi, I was like, hey, oh, I'm in the library, I should probably stay quiet. But yeah. Sierra, do you want to give shout outs to anyone? Do you want to say anything um, profound? Do well, you want to, you know? I'm not good at profound things. Okay, um, me neither. But yeah, hi to my sister, Sydney, who also watches YouTube a lot. But other than that, not really. <laughs> I'm just We're getting shushed by people. Yeah. I disrupted her work. She's volunteering okay. here. Came over, <laughs> threw her on the vlog. But, but yeah. yeah, I'm still shaking, so I kind of like don't know what to say. That's okay. I'm, I'm shaking too. I'm carrying a lot of things right now, so I'm gonna go now. But I just wanted her to say hi and see you soon. Bye guys. Bye. So yeah, the reason I'm working at the library today is because it was one of those days where like I just I got home and honestly like from my JLT meeting and all I wanted to do was get in bed and watch Netflix. Except that's not what I should be doing right now. So um, I was like, dude, I gotta go out. I have to go sit somewhere where like, I'm just gonna have to work and be able to be focused. So that's why I'm at the library because we got home pretty early from JLT. Usually don't, we don't get home that early, but it was like four. So it's 5.30 now and I'm probably gonna be here for like another hour or so because um, I am actually working on a new JLT banner. This is kind of what's coming along. We're going the same style that's on um, my channels slash the style that's on like Haley's channel and Tana's channel and actually Nabella Nora was the one who taught me how to do this. So I'm designing a new JLT banner and actually I have to work on writing episode one for JLT because we're trying a whole new like um, way to write together. We're each gonna write an episode and then everybody will like contribute and edit and all of that. So I have to write episode one, have that done by Wednesday so that I can get it to Monica and then Monica can go through it and then she can get it to Shelby. And then I'm not sure who's gonna write next week's episode but we're gonna kind of bounce around that way and see how it works. So. I'm gonna get back to um, working on all of this, but I will see you soon. Oh, P.S. I totally snuck a drink into the library. I actually snuck two drinks into the library. A tea and a water bottle. There's no way I'm gonna be in here and sit here dehydrated. Sorry, library. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so I am not standing in the most flattering lighting. Then again, when am I ever really someone to be that concerned with lighting? Um, it's funny because every time I film, Dan always be like, wait, we gotta turn the lights on or do something. I'm like, no, don't ruin the genuineness of the moment. He's like, dude, gonna look like this but it's fine okay so anyways I wanted to come on a vlog um, for two things first one I just made the most incredible sandwich well Dan too Dan made me some bacon I'm eating differently it's 8 30 but I'm actually like I said I'm writing for JLT right now so I just kind of got on a roll and then I didn't want to stop so Dan made me bacon and I made a BLT literally 
Oh my gosh, it's bacon, huge chunks of tomato, a little bit of the aged cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's, avocado, cilantro, and soy-free veganese on gluten-free toast. <laughs> I have to throw those things in. Oh my gosh, it was salt and pepper. It is so good. And now I'm gonna eat some of my dank pickles that I just bought at Whole Foods yesterday or whenever I went. But anyways, I took one bite and I was like, I have to vlog because this is literally so good. So there's that. Um, the other thing I was gonna, I played over here, is I just had a really good day. And I'm just feeling really excited about everything that's going on. And that's all. It was just one of those days where like, I don't know, I feel like because my weekend was so low key, and sometimes, do you ever get those times where like you're going really fast and then when you stop and slow down, you're just kinda like, what do I do with myself? And sometimes you feel in like a downer mood and then you're like, uh, I don't know, I just feel weird. I guess I'm not really explaining it because I'm just using the word weird to describe how I felt, but I didn't expect to be so like, I don't know, I just had a really good day. That's the point of it. It was really fun having Willa on. You go Willa, it was a fun day. And um, it was great meeting with Shelby and Monica as usual. I feel like every time I meet with them to work on stuff, I always walk away feeling like just really amped about everything we're working on. I just feel like the three of us work on projects really well together and it's really, it's just we have a really good time. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat my food now because it's amazing. I can't wait to keep watching The Aviator tonight because it is also amazing. Um, I just keep saying, I'm just gonna keep saying it till someone can, like, I don't know, someone's like, this is their grandpa or their cousin, but like, I really wanna meet Martin Scorsese. It's like on my bucket list, so tell all of your friends and family if anybody knows him and we can just meet and I can just be like, just talk to me. I would just be really happy. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now and eat my food. Oh my God, so he's trying to hump Bowser. So we know she hopped off because she knew I said it and she got embarrassed. <sighs> Bad girl.